Hi, welcome back. Happy Friday. The clip I just shared with you, the opening clip, is a look outside our back door facing the San Gabriel Mountains. It's currently raining outside, so that explains why it's sort of dark here on the floor. I played with the ceiling light, but it's just giving me um, glares. It's glaring off of um, the covers. So I decided to try and film it on the floor and hopefully you'll be able to see what I want to share. I apologize for not filming last week, but I've been relearning QuickBooks and, and bookkeeping and stuff for my husband's business. And it's just been taking a lot of time um, and a lot of stress trying to figure that out. So quick update, I probably won't film next Friday. I will film the following Friday, which will be the 24th. That's Bruce, he's awake, he says hi. So in front of you, I have my two Hobonichis. This is my cousin. This is my five year A5 diary. Not diary, this is my sketchbook doodle book. So let's go through a flip through of the weekly. So this is what this week's look, this week's uh, layout. Uh, washi on the, on the bottom, stickers here. I've been keeping it really simple because again, I've, um, I've been busy with my learning things for my husband's business. Um, and so this is real time planning. I did not do anything for Thursday. I was um, taking some classes, uh, online classes. And so I plan, so today's Friday. So I plan today after I finish filming to fill this in. Um, I did check boxes of things that I wanted to complete for that day. And then the stickers up on top are um, ones that I made. That one I bought, but I can't remember where. I bought this when I first started getting into planners. So I wish I can't, I can't remember the name of the store. This is for last week, which is the one you didn't see. These little dot stickers are from Happy Planner. And once again, I uh, put down the tasks that I wanted to complete for that day. And as I completed them, I checked them off. So it, I think it's pretty simple. Washi over here, packages on this side, and we were expecting uh, two packages last week. So one was Bruce's meds, and I can't remember, I think that was something my husband bought at Amazon. This is the week before, actually this is the week before. These are little stickers that I purchased from Amazon, and they are too small for my eyes, even with my reading glasses. So I decided to try to use her up and use her as bullet points. You may hear Bruce start gnawing on his bone. I'm so sorry. Bruce, stop, stop, stop. Let's wait till I finish filming. And then this is the week before that. And with this, I went with the Monsters layout. Um, tape from Daiso, Daiso, Daiso. Happy Planner. These guys are ones that I created. These page flags are also from Daiso. So hopefully you can see what they look like. Now to get to the daily pages. So today's the 10th. It's been a year uh, since my best friend passed away. Today's, today was the day that it, a year ago. Um, so I plan to probably, I'm gonna look for some photos for her online and then, um, you know, remember her on this page today. Uh, so again, yesterday I was pretty busy, so I'm gonna try and figure out what I wanna put down on this page. This is for Wednesday. This is a cutout from a magazine. This is also from a magazine. Um, from this, this is Bruce, if you haven't met him. He is um, on the lap of my husband. And then there's Kit Kat with Bruce. Kit Kat was sleeping in the middle of the couch on that cushion. So that's what this looks like. And it's been going well. So what, we're in March now and it's still pretty thin. I'm really happy. Last year, my uh, cousin was pretty chunky because I put a lot of photos, uh, clipped out things, and just really bulked it up. So this year, I kind of want to keep it on the slimmer side, and so far, so good. Now this, <laughs> this is a picture of Kit Kat that I drew on the page. So this is our um, block wall from us and our neighbor. This is supposed to be my neighbor's apple tree. There's a little bird on top. So Kit Kat was sitting on my husband's things, watching the bird from the other side. <laughs> so that's what that is. 
uh, cutouts for magazines, a selfie with me and Bruce. Bruce, uh, this is also from a magazine. I track the weather. This was a recipe that I found that I wanted to try. My husband's not interested, so I went ahead and put it in here so when he's not around, I may make one and try it out. It looks good. This is March 1st, and I enjoyed this lady. I like the way she looked. Beginning of the month, so I put some positive things down. Now this is the blank monthly page for March. So I made it my currently page. So for me, I did reading, doing, and my goals. And I haven't been able to find a book to read yet, one. And the ones that I have found, I've been DNFing first chapter in. So I'm one of those people that I'll read a couple of pages. If it doesn't pique my interest in the first couple of pages, I generally DNF because there's just so many books out there to read. And um, I just don't have the time to sit there and try and plow through it, even if I don't like it from the start. So I don't have anything written down here. And again, my goals and my doing, I have a slot for one more. And then I think you may have seen these. So these are just, again, cutouts from the magazine. And then my drawing. This is when it we had that really uh, super storm go through. It's quote unquote the blizzard. So we had snow in the local mountains, the San Gabriel Mountains. Up, you know, again, that you saw in the beginning, hidden behind the clouds. And then we got hail. So I don't know if you can hear it, but it's actually the rain starting to pick up. So that is my cousin. This is my doodle. Now this one, I've been trying to sketch every single day, but given how busy I've been the past couple of weeks, um, I have not been able to do that. So I don't um, feel bad if I don't do that. Um, Cause this is supposed to be a fun thing for me, not like a chore. So I will show you what I've done so far. Again, today's the 10th, so I don't have anything here. And if you've watched my previous videos, I had been pencil sketching my um, doodles in here, my animals, and uh, I've learned not to do that. I learned that I, if I, once I pencil it in, to then go over it either with watercolor or with a black pen. So again, I've been keeping track of the weather in here too, because I think it will be fun to see the weather past and then in the future. So this is supposed to be a coral snake. I haven't colored it in yet. Let me put them on top. This one is the 29th. This is the leap year for next year. So this page is blank. I'm gonna leave this here for now. Um, because I didn't realize that it was a leap year. Now this you can't see. I did a doodle of uh, eagles, one through five. So this is year five, but he looks really funny. So I wanted to fix the way he looked, which is why I left him in pencil. <laughs> Here is four. The biggest difference is gonna be the coloring, um, the plumage on the eagle each single year. So this is year four, which again, obviously you can't see the difference because I didn't color him in. He's still on pencil. This is year three and he looks like a seagull. He doesn't look like an eagle here. So I wanted to um, figure out how to rework the drawing because I don't like it. This is year two. This is the way it should look, an angry little thing. Actually, this is two and a half. Hopefully when um, I film again in two weeks, I will have these colored in. This is a year and a half. Again, the coloring uh, is, there is no coloring. It's still in pencil, but I, I am happy with the way he looks. Um, but generally the eagle first and a half year is still a dark brown color. And then this is a half year eagle. Bald eagle. I didn't color it in, but I did um, color, outlined it with a black pen, the Hobonichi pen. So this is a red snapper. Hopefully this will also be colored in. This is a halibut. 
If you watched my last video, I drew a flounder and I couldn't figure out what the difference was between a halibut and a flounder. And it turns out that they're the same, except the halibut is much larger than a flounder. Fun fact, the tail on a halibut is a bit more diamond shaped. Wow. And I'll get to that in a second. This is a moonflower. Here is the flounder, and you see his tail is more rounded on the back, and they're generally smaller than a halibut. Who knew? I don't eat seafood, so, um, but this is just such an interesting looking fish. This is a bleeding heart. Once again, outlined it with a the Hobonichi black ink, because in pencil you couldn't see it. This is the bag worm moth, again, in pen now. I did start watercoloring. This is a starfish. Another starfish. No color yet. This is a swamp chicken. I need to color him in too. And there we go. So this is a green frog colored in with watercolors. Watercolor. This one I decided to leave in pencil. I just outlined it with um, the Hobonichi black ink pen. This is supposed to be a gray, white, spotted snow owl. I love the way they look. These are two elephants, hopefully you can see. This is that red slider turtle with his legs sticking out of the water. Again, these are sketches that I did in pencil and this took a lot of time to catch up and um, at least for me it took a couple of hours just to do the ones that you're seeing right now to um, outline it with the black pen and then to go back and watercolor it. This one I didn't use a pen really so I don't really like the way he came out. This is supposed to be, I can't pronounce it, a ural or owl. U-R-A-L. These are the baby chicks. I don't know if you can see. This looked better in pencil. This is that Sphinx cat. This is an Egyptian vulture. King vulture. Yellow duckling. California roll. I can't remember if I showed you this. This is the um, Simpson Stun Sun Star fish. Like the way it looked. Sunflower Sea Star. As you can see, for a little while, I was on a starfish kick. Okay, and then the sleeping dog. And I think I showed you these because I had already colored these in. So that is a look of my A5 Hobonichi Diary, which I'm using as my sketchbook watercolor. And then in here is my A5 cousin. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, go to thumbs down. Subscribe if you like to see after the pin videos of my planners. And I will post again in two weeks, which I think is the 24th. Have a, have a good weekend, and I'll see you guys later. Bye!